welcome to Kelly Loves K-Pop. I'm Kelly, K-Pop fan and tarot reader of many years. And today we're going to do a personality reading on Cheryung from Itzy. It's going to be one of two um, readings that were brought to you from a donator on the Coffee page. So thank you so much. Again, thank you so much for your patience. With dealing with me that day, that was a crazy day <laughs> when you made the orders and I really, really appreciate your patience. So I wanna do these in two different videos for you so you feel like you get um, your your donations worth. Um, we'll do one for Chen Young and the next one I do will be for Yeji. So thanks again, donator. We really, 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 really appreciate you. You helped the channel so much. Actually today for the current energies reading, uh, you're gonna see one of the new tarot decks I got very recently I was that I'm very, very proud of and happy to get. So <clears throat> all the donations go to uh, helping get you know more decks, better recording equipment, and just general improving this channel, things like green screen and lights and all the things, you know, just, I don't really make any money on this channel. I just try to make it better, more enjoyable for you guys. And just as much fun as we can have, you know, doing K-pop stuff. I just recently ordered some One Ho albums and I'm hoping to do a little unboxing whenever they come. They will be like very delayed because of the Chuseok holiday but that's fine, <laughs> you know, we'll do what we gotta do, you know, when it gets here, so. But hopefully I can do more kind of unboxings on the channel and kind of just put more K-pop content on here in general. I probably won't ever really do reactions on the channel because you don't want that. <laughs> you don't wanna see that, but, um, but yeah, maybe some unbox, some like K-pop unboxings. Um, I don't know. We'll see. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, what kind of other content you might want to see on this channel, let me know. All right, so we're gonna do Chen Young's personality reading. Um, I did get the information because I had a itsy personality reading from last year on the channel, but I took it down because Yuna is still underage and I didn't realize that at the time. I thought she was 18 for some reason. And even then I realized that Really for Korean adults, it's considered like 20 years old. So, you know, I want like at least 20, 20 years and up, 19, 20, somewhere in there. You know, adults, adults. Um, I, if you came to me in real life and you were underage and you wanted a tarot reading, I wouldn't do it. Um, that's just my practice. So I want to keep that for idols as well. Um, so yeah, Cherryum. I wrote down her information. She's a Gemini. She's a Gemini sun with this Sagittarius moon. So that's funny. I'm a Gemini. My brother's a Sagittarius because they're diametrically opposed on you know the wheel, the zodiac, the zodiacal wheel. Um, so to see her kind of have those two energies that will, I don't know if they fight each other, but they don't always work with each other. But I don't know what her rising sign is or her ascendant. So that could be the, the piece that uh, helps tie those two together. Um, for personality readings, I always do a six card draw and then I'll follow it up with a tarot reading that is um, Cherian's current energies. My hair doesn't want to stay behind my ear. I didn't feel like doing my hair today, so we're just wearing it up. <laughs> just wearing it up so what that, that's seven no that's eight you know what we'll take it we will take it all right, let's lay these out. There's two more cards than I usually do, but that's fine. They want to be out. Let's 
see, hopefully these will show. I'll try to make sure I hold them up for you. All right. She did get this angel card in the previous reading. It seems like some stuff has changed. Okay. The irony that we get these two cards. Okay, so we have um, Virgin in the Shadow, which is fear of uh, intimate union. Could be she's kind of scared to be close with people right now. I don't know if there's something that could be from an environmental thing because um, Angel and Samaritan, Samaritan, yes, <laughs> I can't talk today. Angel and Samaritan, definitely reminiscent of her previous reading that I did for her. So we'll see kind of what's going on. Um, so we have yeah, Virgin in the Shadow, which was again, Fear of Intimate Union. Yeah, so she, for some reason it seems like she's kind of scared right now to have people too close. Um, Samaritan in the Light is refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So it's like, <laughs> this one is like, I read it, it goes right out of my mind. So it's like, she's around, she's being kind, like she's helping people, but for some reason, um, there's an aspect to her that it like, it has a, has a guard up, has a shield up. So, but it's not something she's kind of outwardly showing people. And it's a good, interesting reason as to why, maybe when we do the tarot reading, we can expand on why she's, she's being uh, kind of, Secretly distant. We have shapeshifter in the shadow, which is projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. Um, I see shapeshifter so much for idols, so much because it's just in their training to be whatever people need from them, to cater to people's, you know, fans' fantasies of them, the company's expectations, their parents. You know, they have uh, expectations from everyone, and they're all different, and they have to live up to all of those. Um, so they kind of wear a bunch of hats. But again, I think we have shapeshifter in reverse because of this version in reverse showing that she's being insincere to people or like being kind and, and nice and polite, but she's not letting them in for some reason. So there's there's just this this wall where she's not having intimacy. She's not trusting other people to see like her innermost self. And I just don't know if it's being, you know, just jaded the longer you're in this industry, the kind of, I think, more um, distrust you have for people. Um, just because of the nature of the industry. If you've ever been in any entertainment industry, people are generally just there to use you and throw you away. So um, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. Um, we have Exorcist in the shadow which is fear of facing your own demons. So I don't know if she has something um, she's scared um, from her past. These days, a lot of idols are dealing with things from the past coming back and haunting them. And you know, if you're not taking care of those things, they can become a problem. We have, um, well, you see the word, I'm not gonna say this on the channel just cause problematic for these cards. I always say, I, I think I wanna take this one in like the mystic card, I always wanna take out. I really need to do that. Um, so it's in the shadow and it's a place of material consideration and security above self-empowerment. So this means she's in a position where being self-sustained, being um, successful is way more important to her than like kind of her personal artistic um, dreams at the moment. Um, and maybe it's something she feels will come later, um, but right now all that matters is having stability, being successful, um, having a good name and reputation. Seems like she's specifically interested in maintaining her reputation. Self-empowerment almost is like, it could be because she's in a group where she's kind of putting her personal desires to the background so the group can succeed. That's a lot how that kind of reads. It's like, it's a bit selfless in a lot of ways. 
especially when you have stuff like Samaritan and this angel card next to it, where it's like, she's she's putting herself in the in the back seat or her personal wants in the back seat to, to further um, her her driver her her need for success. So that's. And there's a lot of stuff right now that sounds like she could feel conflicted. Um, definitely seems like she's in the middle of a big change from what um, we knew of her previously. So we have Angel. This is the one card that was in her previous reading, which is helping those in need with no expectation of return. Again, it's like she's being polite. She's helping people. She's not letting them in. She's like, no, no. Um, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. It's either for the group. It's for someone else. She's definitely like hiding herself. She's like making herself feel small or feeling small. Like it, that's what I'm seeing is that she's just like, I don't know. The energy is almost robotic right now for her. And it could just be because it's comeback time. You know, we're catching her at a moment where, um, it's all work, no play, this isn't personal, this is like the group is about to have a comeback, everything's about the group. And it could just be that that's what we're seeing right now in her personality is that she is like a robot, she's like hyper-focused right now on doing her job and not about like what she wants personally. Like she's definitely not, her, her own passions, her own creative passions, her own personal passions, all that is like, she is not worried about that. And like, this is like the driving point in her personality right now is that she's doing everything for other people. Um, we have Divine Child in the Shadow, which is an ability and inability to defend oneself against negative forces. Again, we're feeling these. I don't know. I don't know if she's feeling picked on. I don't know if she's feeling singled out. Can, oh, what's it? What are ITZY fans called? It just went out of my brain. Oh, Mitzi, Mitzi, right? Can Mitzi tell me, it does Chang get picked on by Netsons real bad? Like, I know, I thought her sister's on a TV show right now, right? Her sister, it was, is it her sister that's on the dance battle show? I don't remember what it's called. It's like Street Fighter or something. I thought it was her sister. I could be wrong, but there could be that too. There's a lot of self-sacrifice and caring about someone else more than her right now. Like, don't don't worry about me. But she is feeling like there's this judgment. Like she's got she's scared of a judgment for some reason, and it could just be the comeback. But it feels like more than that. So I wonder if she's feeling protective for her sister too. Something like that. It's either that or she's feeling like with the comeback, she feels like she's gonna face more judgment than other members for some reason. So, I don't know, there's a little bit of a self, like an insecurity there for her. And then we have Hermit in the shadow, which is withdrawals from society out of fear or negative judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. So before we're seeing that she's helping all these people, but then the, the Hermit is like, she, I think we've seen enough that she actually is helping people. So that's not the part of this card I feel really is speaking to her. But I did, again, the fear of negative judgments really, really stands out here. I do think she's scared or, or just maybe she's overthinking thing. And maybe that's the part of her nature that um, around this time, around comeback, she feels hypersensitive, hyper aware and very judged by the public in a negative way. Um, but at the same time, while all this is going on, she doesn't want anyone to see it. Like, I think she's one of those that only wants to put on a brave face and hide her insecurities and her fears from other people. Because that's the first card, that virgin card was about shutting down and not letting people in. Again, we have uh, things about not wanting anything in return, the Good Samaritan, is helping those people even though she feels like maybe should they don't deserve it or she doesn't really want to um you know like it's an obli she's obligated 
It's just, she has to do it. Um, but in some ways it could just be like, doing things without even thinking about why, just like she has to. So there's a lot of, it feels like just pressure, which it, I understand that she would feel a lot of pressure with what she's doing. But I also think she has a lot of self doubt right now and she's feeling very judged. Um, and it's just causing her to have these aspects where she's not letting anyone in. She's totally got a guard up. Um, and it's kind of keeping her from being intimate with other people. You know, so like I said, this could just be a temporary thing because of the timing right now, but it does seem like she's got some some self-esteem issues that she's probably gonna work through. And um, you know, the hermit can also be a thing that maybe she, that's what she needs is some time away and she can't take it. So yeah. A little bit of worried about her putting financial and, and, and financial success um, above her own self satisfaction, her own happiness. Um, Cause she doesn't seem happy. She does, this overall feels a bit numb, a bit kind of like closing herself off. So let's get some tarot cards and let's, let's see what's going on. I'm going to get my Tarot of Oppositions and this is um, this is a new deck that I was able to buy due to some really lovely donators. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. This one fell down. Let's see if any more of these wanna pop out. I got any more jumpers. Rick Chayum. <sighs> okay, so Nine of Swords and the Devil card. take these two that jumped out first and we'll go with that. Hold one of these. Trying to flip over. We'll see. We may have to pull some clarifiers, but okay. So this is that tarot of oppositions. If anybody's curious. So we get the nine of swords in reverse for the, the first card. As you can see, this is kind of like our anguish again. It feels like she's stressed out. Something has her, you know, concerns from it. It's not just like the actual physical burden. This is also like a mental burden. Again, I keep feeling like she's feeling like judgment from canids or, or label. There's some kind of pressure. You know, I, I hate saying like sometimes the girls get a lot of flack for um, gaining weight or anything like that. I don't know if she has those kind of particular problems, but it does feel like she's just like, oh no, they're gonna be on me again, you know? And it's the devil. So this especially makes me feel like external in, uh, in external influences and it's right side up. And normally even the devil right side up would mean something kind of more negative, but because of this particular deck, having it's very negative, devil card side, you know, in reverse. Um, this is almost like the devil you know. Have you heard that expression? Um, where it's like, it's bad, but you just know you have to deal with it all the time. There's like no escaping it. And it really feels like it's not 
her doing. It's just like something that comes with the territory, Some something awful she just has to deal with all the time. Um, so that's why I feel like, I feel like there's just stress already from the feeling judged. Um, and we have the Five of Swords. Again, this card kind of, re especially um, in this deck, refers to kind of a losing battle. So it's like you you feel like you're at a loss. So these three cards together to me just tell a very clear story of like her feeling like she's just already lost before she started. Um, it's like people she can't please or just something she knows she can't do, even though other people are just kind of putting that expectation on her. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles up and this is and this is also in reverse. So that just means usually it's it's the speed of something happening. Um, uh, upright is kind of like slow and steady wins the race. You're you're methodical. You're really thinking things through. Um, but in reverse, it's like she's just stuck, right? So let's get a little more information here. And it's ten of pentacles again in reverse. So she's got another pentacle card here, also in reverse. Oh. She does have an issue with money and particularly long term. Again, we saw that she was worried. She was putting success over her own personal happiness. We're seeing that here again. Um, we're seeing it here where her family, for some reason, looks like they're struggling. And again, I don't know if this has to do with her sister on that program. Because it could mean actual financial hardships, but it could also mean like their jobs being hard to do, hard to show up, hard to do what they're supposed to do because of, you know, I don't know if there's there's like a like a shame or if she's not doing well, people are are causing problems for the family. I don't I don't know if they own like a business and like people are coming into that business and making their life difficult or if they actually have some kind of debt problem. Because um, the night may mean that Cheryong wants to help but she can't. And sometimes it's just people's careless comments because they think the internet's some place, free place to say awful things all the time. And, um, you know, they don't realize how bad it can hurt people. But there's definitely something there and it's bigger than Chaeyoung. It's like affecting her family, but she definitely feels personally responsible in some kind of way. We have the 10 of swords upright though, I think. Yes. I believe this is this card upright and 10 of swords upright means still the end of a cycle and still because of the, you're ending it because it was too much pressure. Um, but I do tend to feel when the, the swords are upright, it's your choice. So I feel like Chenyan, there's something she's deciding is no longer worth her time and she's just, you know. Again, this is, <sighs> three of pencils. No, that's generally collaboration with work, but we know they gotta come back. So it can't be that. And have Eight of Swords also in reverse. It could just be like, again, she feels like she can't do things and it could be because of the comeback. And that could be like her viewing the work again in a negative aspect. Maybe because she feels obligated. 
to be there, but she doesn't want to be there because of everything else that's going on or because she feels singled out by the public for some reason. There's a lot of stress and anxiety on her, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, uh, right now. Yeah, we have Queen of Cups is good because it does mean that she's doing, I think she, again, she, uh, there's ob we spoke of obligation and I think there is a lot of the she's doing, she's sticking around for. She's making the decision she is because she cares about people. Again, so the like not wanting to do the work because she's stressed out about things means like it's like it's not that I don't love the members or love the company or whatever, but like I got all this other stuff going on right now and I'm not in a good place, <laughs> you know. So this is why I don't want to be here. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if she's just super stressed and she's kind of just letting that stress get to her and she's letting every little Knit comment get to her and she's worried about like what her family's doing while she's away. It just seems like she has all these kind of concerns swimming around in her mind. And like so we have the five here. So it's it's just a bit chaotic. Um you know, we do have this one in the upright, which means it's like I don't know, actually reading these two together, just in this particular reading tells me that like actually being friends with the other girls is helping her. It could be like the Queen of Cups is usually you kind of emotionally connecting to other people, but it could be like them working and connecting and like, like the bond helping her kind of get through all the stuff she's getting through. Um, because the five is also creativity, so it could be like that unit of five giving her the emotional support she needs to, to kind of go through this. So it's kind of like whatever she's going through, the group is like, yeah, we get it, we understand. So I think they're helping her get through it uh, emotionally. But yeah, she feels very trapped, very pinned in, stuck. Like just a lot of stress, a lot of mental stress, especially for her right now. I'm trying to think if I should try to get one more Oracle deck, just to see if we can get any more explanation about all these things. But yeah, she's, she's stressed. Let's see what my Earth Magic, I think they're called. I don't think it's Earth Magic Oracle. Yes. Let's see if, okay. Let's see, what is stressing Chenyang out right now? Perspective. Excuse me. Breach. And ancient healing wisdom. Release. Hmm. Well, again, perspective is definitely the way you're looking at things. So I definitely can understand if perspective and the way things are being viewed, again, I kind of felt like maybe there's some judgment going on from external sources, from, um, from um, like Knets or the internet or something like that. Breach is definitely about, if I can pick it up. 
you know, again, we can talk about it being like a fish out of water, literally. It's like coming out. This card specifically, I think, wants to talk about like coming up for air, coming up to breathe, to reset. But for me, the first thing that came to my mind was privacy breach. And again, we were talking about how I kind of felt like maybe her family feels like things are hindering them from doing what they need to do. Um, and it's hurting businesses or something like that. And I don't know if, again, personal information. I think in the the personality we're doing, we saw too that she was scared of things from her past coming out. And if she has a privacy breach in some way, um, maybe that could be a, a cause of stress on her. Again, I don't know when everyone was getting allegations for bullying or histories, like coming back and being uh, brought up again. If she was in that, I don't think she was that I saw, but maybe there's still something she's worried might show up. Um, no. Ancient healing and wisdom makes me wonder too. Um, there's old uh, physical things, or it could be, uh, you know, mental, emotional things she's dealt with, past traumas. Again, like coming back. Um, maybe things she thought she had healed from, things that she thought she was over, kind of being dragged up again, you know. And release really just talks about her needing to kind of let it go. You know, what's gonna happen is what's gonna happen and worrying about it all the time isn't gonna help you. It's not gonna help you. You might as well just, you know, stick to what you were doing in the first place. So I do think she's in a place where she's kind of stressing herself out more than she needs to. Um, just kind of deal with the problem when the problem comes. Um, because, you know, unless there's a few people she can talk to you to try to get the past situation thing wrapped up. Otherwise, everything else she can't, you can't please everyone. You can't please your, your, um, your haters. You can't please the internet. You can't please everyone in the business that's just trying to drag you down. You can't. So, you know, I don't know. I think she just feels like it's unfair the way that her and maybe her family are being treated. And that's a big stress for her right now. So I do wish the best for her. Um, hopefully, you know, this shall pass with just a little bit of time. But thank you so much, Donator, for uh, sponsoring this video. And I will actually be recording your Yeji one right now, right after. So hopefully you see them both kind of back to back um, in the next few days when I can get them uploaded. So. Thank you. Also, everybody else, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.